Well, uh, as I said before, I'm I'm from God's country in Wigan. Uh, the rugby team's not doing so well, but praise God. Uh, John Wesley used to call uh, Wigan Wicked Wigan. Uh, when he used to come preaching there. <laughs> but uh, there's some information. Um, we run a ministry called Christian Life Ministries International. Uh, there is a table in the tent there with some information on it. If you'd like to take one, um, we're looking for people who will be praying uh, for the ministry. It's all outreach. So we are looking for uh, people who are, who are good at praying and who will pray for our ministry. So uh, the some leaflets on the table there uh, and that tells you all about it I'm not time to share with you about the ministry but it's all on the in the table um, I'm going to be singing a few songs off um, uh, the King of All Kings album uh, which is there as well in the cover it says um, these are simple songs from a simple man with a simple faith and Charlie can verify I'm a simple man um, but uh, I'm going to sing a few songs the first one I'm going to sing is um, What Shall I Do and um, I'm a blessed man uh, blessed with my wife we have five children um, but also we have two children who are in heaven and we lost two children and the reason I wrote this song, uh, but, but this is one of the main reasons I wrote it. What shall I do? Where shall I go? Um, and I wrote it from a background of, of someone with no hope in, in that situation. So for anyone who's ever lost children, or you've lost your husband, wives, people close to you. Um, I wrote this from this perspective. So I'm just going to sing this one. Thank you.
Praise God. You know, and that was the question. <laughs> what shall I do? Where shall I go? But you know what? Praise God, there's a heaven. <laughs> Praise God, um, we wasn't without hope. We have a living hope. And that living hope is Jesus Christ. And he is hope for the world. He is hope for Warrington. He is hope for Wigan. And we had a living hope, and we have a living hope. And we know that our children are there in the presence of God. Isn't it good there's a heaven? If there was no heaven, no God, what miserable people we would be. We'd have no hope, no joy, no peace, no reason for living. But we have Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of laws. And he has made a way for each and every one of us. And this next song I'm going to be singing um, at Calvary. It's, it's very simple if you want to join in. The chorus is at Calvary. You took my place at Calvary. You gave me grace. You took my blame. You took my... And you gave me... I forgot the words. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I wrote this song about a few years ago. I was working in a, a house in Berry. Anyone heard of Berry? <laughs> well, I was working in Berry. I was on a plank about 15 foot in the air doing this ceiling and um, I've been a Christian 20 years and this never happened to me I'm not some people get visions I never had a vision <laughs> I'm just a man of faith <laughs> I hear the Word of God and I believe it uh, I don't need to vision to believe in God because I heard the gospel which is the power of God unto salvation and when I heard the gospel I gave my life to Jesus Christ but I was working on this plank singing away making a mess of the ceiling and um, in the middle as I was working suddenly the whole room changed and I was stood there on this path and but the whole room changed and the next thing I was at the foot of the cross where Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross and I was knelt down and where I was kneeling it was just blood all over the place I was knelt in this blood and I was looking up at this cross well this cross seemed to go into heaven itself and as I was looking up I saw him there hanging on the cross it was a complete mess beyond description and it shook me to the core in fact I had to get down and sit down I was shaking and as I was seeing this as real as anything, I even saw the blood pouring down the side of the tree. And as I'm looking up there, I just saw him. And all this was in a few seconds, but it shoot me to the core. And I believe God would just show me a glimpse of what it cost him to pay the price for my sins. And it was a wonderful privilege to have to see my Savior, Jesus Christ, what he did for me on that cross. And so this is the reason I wrote this song at Calvary. Hallelujah. Christ, my Lord and God, 
song to you A song of thanks and praise to you Of your great sacrifice My Father God, I come to you To know you is so good No words describe this love divine For you are all I need You Calvary to my place, I can't believe you to my place. I can't believe you ransomed me and brought me sweet release. I can't believe you to my place. I can't believe you to my place. I can't believe you ransomed me and brought me sweet release. And every sin in the world. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give him praise. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't Jesus wonderful? He's worthy of all honor and praise. You know, it's so wonderful to know him as my savior and as my king. I didn't always know him. I remember the first time I heard the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. I never heard the gospel until I was 14 years of age. I was at school and the Gideons came round giving free Bibles out. And I remember they gathered us all in the school theater and was all sat there in the theater and our deputy headmaster, four minutes, hallelujah, uh, our, de our deputy headmaster told us the good news of Jesus Christ. And he asked us a question, he said, if you died tonight, 
where would you spend eternity? Would you be in heaven or would you be in hell? He said there's only one way to heaven and that's through Jesus Christ. And that, that day when he told us that, I knew where I would be if I died. I knew I would have been in hell. Why? Because I didn't have Jesus Christ. And we was given an opportunity to receive him that day. But you know what? I rejected him. Why? Because of fear of man and embarrassment. I was embarrassed of Jesus Christ. Although I knew it was true what I was hearing. And for the next seven years, I rejected him. I got involved with martial arts. And martial arts became the God of my life. I was involved with karate. I used to train six days a week. Became a first standing black belt. And I've still got the black belt. <laughs> but I can't lift my leg now. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but martial arts became the God of my life. And there was something missing in my life. An emptiness. I knew I was going to hell. And I was invited to a full gospel businessmen's dinner fellowship meeting. There's a board at the back. The full gospel businessmen's fellowship. And I was invited to that. And I went for a free dinner. I only went for a free dinner. I said, there's a three course on, a free meal. I said, boot me in. So I was going for the dinner. But that night I went there and I heard the gospel again. The good news of Jesus Christ. And that night I thought, I'm not going to miss him this night. I've rejected him for seven years. And that night I received him. I went home, got on my knees in my bedroom. And I said, Jesus, come into my life. And you know what? Instantly the whole room was filled with the presence of God.